Incense has been used in human history for a long time, even started from the prehistoric age. It was used as an air freshener in the beginning, and nowadays it has been widely used for religion, during the meditation, doing yoga, and in the house to clean the air, and during the party or some events. You can find all kinds of incense in the market, but based on the Sada Guru, there are 70 to 80% of them contain the chemicals. Some of the chemicals release toxins like nitrogen monoxide, carbon monoxide. Using the all nature ingredient incense can help improve their spiritual benefits and in the meantime reduce their side effects. In today's video, I want to show you a step-by-step -step making your own incense by using a three, the natural ingredients. It is a straightforward, but there are some uh, tricks you want to be careful in order to make a successful incense. At the last of the video, I will explain you what should be careful when you're using the incense at home. The herb we use includes uh, lavender, basil, cinnamon. We also need uh, this called uh, mako. This is uh, from uh, wood. This can help uh, burn and uh, make uh, this material and stick together. Oh, the other thing, I want to especially mention this, the hydrosol. I use uh, lavender hydrosol. Uh, when we mix them, mix the powder, we got to grind them first into a powder like this. And then we got to add uh, the hydrosol to mix them. You can also use a uh, distilled water. Uh, if you have a hydrosol, it can add a special flavor because it contains essential oil in it. The tool we're gonna need is a little balance, a mixing bowl, a larger is better, a spoon, baking cup, blender, a notepad and a pen to write down what you put in. This step is very important because once you add a water in or the hydrosol in, the powder is hard to mix again. I found that using hand is easier to mix because I can feel how wet they are. Are they forming a shape? And adding, adding a little bit gradually and, and check. So make sure all the powder is getting wet you don't want to add too much the hydrosol or water because that can make your drying process too long. If you see a lot of uh, dry powder without forming these chunks, that means you need a more hydrosol. You make uh, in the like a clay and uh, remember the mako. Mako is the like a glue. Once it can hold the shape, that means you are good. This looks like a Hershey.
When we use incense, there are several things we gotta be careful. The first one, you don't wanna use a lot of incense at a time in an enclosed space, like in the house. You just wanna add some flavor into the air. It can help clean the air and bring some perfume into the air, but not too much. Secondly, you gotta keep the ventilation. That means you open your windows after incense. So bring the fresh air in. And this is especially important for those people who have uh, asthma or some respiratory uh, problems. There are also another alternative way to bring the extract from the plants. This is a KD5 distiller. You can make your hydrosol at home, but also you can make uh, your fresh and the hydrosol go into the air directly. I will leave the recipe down at the description part. Leave a question you have during making the incense and what incense your favorite. This is Liu at the lead time. Subscribe to the channel and see you next time.